The modern era of CSR is most appropriately marked by the publication by Howard R. Bowen of his landmark book, Social Responsibilities of the Businessman, in 1953. Bowen's work proceeded from the belief that the several hundred largest businesses in the United States were vital centers of power and decision-making, and that the actions of these firms touched the lives of citizens in many ways. The key question that Bowen asked that continues to be asked today was, what responsibilities to society may businessmen reasonably be expected to assume? These responsibilities have become more evident with the passage of time, and private corporations have been faced with societal demands that question whether a company should be allowed to pursue profits without any constraint. Concerns are based on questions like the following. Is all profit legitimate? Is all profit legitimate provided that a company stays within the law? What is a fair distribution of the wealth a business creates between shareholders, employees, and the wider society? How can increases in inequality be tackled? Should companies give part of their wealth back to the communities within which they operate? Could governments decide what is in the public interest and act accordingly? How can one put a stop to corporate scandals? In response to these concerns, CSR has emerged as a form of self-regulation that reflects a business's accountability and commitment to tackle such issues and initiate a positive influence on society. It is now considered an ethical obligation of business corporations to adopt a CSR policy as a way of giving back to society and in order to deal with the increasing inequality, poverty and what seems to be a non-sustainable growth model.